Marah. Kita marah. Pasal terkacau tempat yang kita punya kesukaan tu. Dah tak ada dah pokok bakau. Kalau dia tebas, 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 tebas itu. Dia punya kehijauan pun tak ada. Kalau betul-betul ada pokok bakau, dia punya hijau dia tu memang cantik. Mangroves in Singapore are under threat due to the pressures exerted on the habitats from urbanisation and human population growth. Today, less than 5% of our original mangrove forests remains. First of all, mangroves are like a sponge. So any incoming waves get absorbed by the mangrove. These above ground tangles of roots really help to break up the waves so that the wave by the time it travels through the mangrove forest is a lot smaller. They also serve as habitats for a wide range of biodiversity as we have here. Mangroves are found to be among the most carbon-rich forests. Globally, they sequester up to 14% of the carbon in the ocean. Where can we do mangrove restoration and where can we do it successfully? There's a lot of areas that mangroves would just grow naturally as long as the environment is right. And one of the key challenges is to understand why that natural regeneration isn't happening and what we can do to encourage it. OCBC's donation is extremely important because it will contribute towards the mangrove restoration. It will support NPARCS-led research into mangroves and carbon storage. The Sungai Durian Pond is actually situated at the southeast corner of Ubin. The size is approximately 4 hectares. Way back in the earlier days, this site is actually full of mangrove. But then in the 90s, the Ubin villager converted it into an aquaculture pond. And in the process, they actually removed all the mangrove that were grown there. After 20 years, the whole pond is still very barren. There's hardly any mangrove grow there, except some sapling started to regenerate itself. So normally we would go to an area that's been cut down and we would just go and replant different mangroves. And often the success rates were really low because when we first cut down the mangrove, we often destroyed the environment as well. The difference with this project, we're not focusing so much on planting mangroves, but actually on restoring the natural environment. And if we do that successfully, then Mother Nature will do the planting for us. Nature is very finicky and particular about where they regenerate. There are many species and each one chooses a particular intertidal zone to grow well. Mangroves store three to five times more carbon per hectare than a lot of other types of forests. And this is because they're waterlogged soils. So any carbon that's taken up through photosynthesis, they accumulate over thousands of years. Your support will enable community outreach and public programs as well. It will help us to mitigate climate change. Kalau untuk suasana macam dulu balik, happy lah.